Hey guys, we're back at the laundromat. Let's see how much money it's made in the past six days. I've been out of town for four of the past six days, but my manager says that we've been really busy. It looks like the month of January is going to be our most profitable month yet. After I crunch all the numbers, I'll let you guys know exactly how much my laundromat made in the month of January, including expenses, revenue, and profit. I love the way that sounds. Usually it's just my larger machines that get full like this. But this time around, it seems like all of my machines have gotten a fair amount of use, which is great. And then here are my dryers. They account for 25 to 30% of my self-serve revenue. As far as maintenance goes, if it's a plumbing issue, I call a plumber. But if it's a machine issue, then I usually try to fix it myself. A lot of the common problems on these machines are really easy to fix and only takes a short YouTube video to learn. When I'm done collecting the quarters, I weigh them. It comes out to $20 per pound minus the weight of the buckets. I also have to subtract the amount of money that we put in ourselves to process wash and fold orders, so I'll let you know how much that came out to. And then comes my favorite part of the job, collecting the cash. I keep a couple hundred dollars on hand so we have change for the register and the rest goes to the bank. I don't really count the cash as gross revenue because people just use it to get quarters. But I still have to count it and compare it to the quarters that I pull out of the machines. Let's start off with the ones, I had to do it in two batches. Then the fives. The tens and the 20s. There was also a $100 bill in there because we had to use it to get changed for the register. So here's that. And then here's how much my laundromat made over the past six days. 